One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What is up, guys? It has been a minute, but I am back with full force with the weekly Friday videos. And to kick things off, I want to show you the biggest mistake that people make when trying to swing on the piano and how to fix it. Focusing on this one thing was an absolute game changer for my own playing, so I think it's only fair to share it with you guys. Let's get into it. Right, so let's start off with some examples to show you the difference this can make. This is how I hear most people attempting to swing. And by focusing on this one thing, you'll be able to sound more like this. Did you notice the difference? If you didn't, skip back and listen again. If you did, drop a comment below and let me know which one you prefer. Now, don't get me wrong, there is a lot to learn in order to be able to properly swing your ass off. And I am really simplifying things here. But for most beginners and intermediate players, practicing this one thing will make a huge improvement. So what is it? Well, in the first example, which most people do, the downbeats are being accented. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Whereas the change that needs to happen is accenting the upbeats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I'm playing the downbeats quietly, and when I play a note on the one and, or two and, or three and, and so on, any of the ands, I accent the note and play it louder. So let's simplify all other parameters so we can focus on making this switch. If you've been accenting the downbeats in your playing for a while, it can take some time for your brain to make the switch, so it's good to keep things simple to begin with. Let's get some swinging drums on. We'll play a C major seven shell voicing in the left hand. And we're just gonna play up and down a C major scale with our right. Maybe over two octaves. Here we go. So this is what we don't want to do. The downbeats are accented. We want to switch things around and focus on accenting the upbeats. And if you want to take things even further, try separating the notes a bit more and playing them slightly more staccato rather than joining them all together. So rather than this, try it like this. Try practicing along with me. Here we go. Two, one, two, three. Remember, it's about shifting the energy from the downbeat to the upbeat. That is where the magic happens. And that's basically it. So to practice this, I recommend doing exactly what I just did. Get some swing drums on. There's a link below to the drums I was using earlier. And practice playing a C major scale, or whatever it is that you can play without thinking whatsoever. This allows you to put your full focus and attention on making that switch to accenting upbeats and not being distracted by the notes themselves. 
If you were struggling with that, you just need to slow it down. Those drums were 120 BPM. You could be practicing this at even half that speed if you needed to. But once you do start getting the hang of that, you can gradually make it more complex. Maybe some scale patterns or exercises, or try it in some other keys. And then once you're really getting the hang of it, you can try improvising over tunes or progressions, but still prioritizing the swing feel and accenting those upbeats over the choice of notes. And that's it. Practice that for a month and I guarantee your playing will be transformed. Your feel will be improved and you'll be swinging way harder. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, make sure to smash that like button. It really helps the channel grow and also lets me know you guys want to see more content. And I'll see you next week in the next video.